eating profiterole and having rosé wine all at the same time. I am here with Diane Kruger, and this is a uh, first for me. It's the first time I'm getting a chance to sit down and meet with her. Let's just talk about your trajectory. I remember the first time, obviously, I think everyone met you was in Troy. How was that being Helen of Troy? It was, it was a wonderful experience, but it was also felt like I could go back in time. I'm not sure I would jump on it again, you know, mm -hmm. because it was very strange to not have had the work experience. You know, I look back on it fondly, but also I can see, you know, I can see the wide-eyed, oh my gosh. <laughs> and you've got a great project that I spent uh, last night watching called The Bridge. Ma'am, you may not want to look. Excuse me. Of course, it's county jurisdiction. The case originated with El Paso PD. Sheriff's Department found her body. Of course. This is my case, not the county's. Let's just talk a little bit about what made you kind of decide to do this part and how it kind of came about. I just, I was fascinated that I could have the opportunity to portray a character. She is, she falls somewhere on the spectrum. Um, you can call it Asperger's, um, which, which made her so different and, and so exciting to explore over 13 episodes. And you would never have the opportunity to mm -hmm. do that in a movie. Have you yourself been to that board? Have you been to El Paso mm -hmm. at all? Yeah. We went for the pilot oh, and I walked the bridge into yeah. Juarez, yeah. It's a very complex character, um, and all of that mixed in with the cultural differences between Mexico and the US. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a very rich show, it's a very character-driven show. My greatest extravagance is to be able to take off for weeks at a time and go um, hiking or climbing mountains um, and not turn on my phone or computer for weeks. Let's talk a little bit about fashion, too, because I mm -hmm. love um, you're a darling of fashion, or I think uh, designers are mildly obsessed with you, wearing their clothes and, and that part of the world. What, what is that relationship for you, uh, exchange between the dress and the person and presenting it? People like Karl Lagerfeld or Valentino, um, I remember being very young and arriving in Paris and seeing them working, and that was mind-blowing, and it's mm -hmm. truly an art form. Ever since I've become an actress, it's, it's, it's different. It shifts. I feel like... Being on the red carpet is such a bizarre mm -hmm. experience and an extraordinary occasion mm -hmm. that I try to actually look the most like myself. You know, especially I find in America, we poor women are being crucified, especially on the red carpet, for being different or wearing something that not everybody's going to like, but which is why I don't work with a stylist. I just think it's odd as an adult to have someone pick out clothes for you. I just don't get that. It's a blood sport. I kind of feel like the it red carpet bit, right? has kind of destroyed Hollywood in a weird way, like just rip it out and because it is, it becomes about who's wearing what, what who's looking this way. And it's sure. nice to see women, you know, another surge yes. of Do well. yeah. female characters. Thank you so much for coming in. And the bridge is really it's excellent. I would highly recommend everybody tuning in to watch the show. Thank and you. the acting is great. The characters are great. Thank well you thanks so for coming much. in. It's great to meet you. The words or phrases I most overuse are you see what I mean? Uh, you know, et merde. Oh, fais chier.